All right, sup guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Trice Too Easy. We're gonna go ahead and get into the small NBA slate. We got two games. We'll look at the charts, the data, the money, the mismatch, the discrepancies, the matchups, the trends. Hopefully, find an edge. Hopefully, crack these folks. Guys, if you'd like to join my sports community and Discord server, it's in the pinned comment and in the description of the video. 10 bucks a month. That's it. It's just a community. We have fun. We talk sports. We share slips. And if you want exclusive access to viewer perks and tools I use daily, like Smart Steak and Outlier, they are in the pinned comment and in the description as well. Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to start, let's see, full show. Uh, review yesterday, bad beat, big winner, player props, slate review. Get out of here, guys. I am beyond busy in my real business life today. I haven't had a second to breathe. I'm just now getting to the video. It's 1.30. I haven't ate. I haven't done anything. So I'm like all over the place. If I seem scatterbrained, it's because I have a million fucking things going on today. Anyways, to review yesterday, 0-2, magic over, lost by a few points. Raptors got cooked by 10, I think. Bad day, went 0-2. I'm coming off of a of a of a three and one or a four and one and then a six and two. So I'm coming off of two big, big winning days, but this does suck. Uh going 0 and 2 never feels good. You think you at least get one. Uh it is what it is. Bad beat from yesterday. This was posted in Discord by B Ball Charles 22 Cash Sign. All he needed was jank artist, dumbass Tyler Harrio, and he just could not do it for him. He got 20, he needed him for 23 and a half. Would have hit a plus 1138. Sorry about your loss. As far as the big winner, this was posted in Discord by who posted this? Uh, it was Gregory J. Kachow, he says, plus 497. Very nice slip, 43 to 250. Who wouldn't take it? If you won't, I will. Uh, yesterday, a lot of people won. Edwin 31 had a big slip. James 2XXX, he hit a massive 50 to a band. He's won so many times. I just, I got to give someone else a chance. Uh, Big Dan hit a, hit a couple of huge ones. He's always cracking the ass. So there were a lot of winners. Um, even Black Dragon, he hit a couple triple double plays that were crazy. Uh, just trying to give other people a chance. But there were tons of big winners last night. Congratulations, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into a couple props. And I'm like eyeballing a little bit. Again, small slates, I typically reduce unit size and I don't like to do much. But I, I'd at least look their way just for the price. First one, Royce uh, O'Neal. I don't like the guy, but I mean, over two and a half threes. He's been hitting three. He's a machine at that. 18 out of 24. Um, He's looked really well shooting the three ball. Head to head, the last few times he's seen OKC, too, he's gotten six, three, and three. So you're getting big plus money. I mean, you can get a plus 125 for him to hit three threes. I think it's very reasonable, Um, and I would look his way. Next, Lugnus Dortz, under seven and a half points. I just think he is ass. I think he is ass. I'm just not impressed with Dortz, man. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, under seven and a half points. I would I would lean it. I prefer to Royce O'Neal play more, but I, I'd consider it if you guys if you guys are like on board with him being ass, you may want to bet it. Now, let's look at the sharp, see where the smart money's putting their bucks at today. And as you guys can see, we got Jalen Williams under five and a half assists, big plus money. Keldon Johnson under five and a half boards. The Sharps fade him for rebounds pretty much every day. He's like permanently on their fade list. And I do like it. Uh, Luke Cornett under seven and a half points. DeAndre Ayton under nine and a half boards. I like that as well. And lastly, SGA under 31 and a half points. I do not like that. I like DeAndre Ayton's under boards and I like Keldon Johnson's under boards. I'm really not a fan of the other ones, but this is where the big dogs are putting their money. So at least take it into consideration. Okay, guys. Enough of the fun, enough of the small talks, time to get serious. We're going to dissect these games, get a bag, and crack these folks. But since it's only two games, we're going to look deep into it. Let's start with the chart. Uh, Phoenix Suns and the Oklahoma City Thunder, if we look at the money, 61% of the money is on the Phoenix to cover this massive 14 and a half spread, and 78% of the money, aka all the money, is on the over. Take a look at the spread chart. Phoenix plus 14 and a half. Yesterday, it dropped down to about 108, and it's been kind of stagnant up and down, up and down from there all day, bouncing between 108 and 104. Very stagnant line, trying to, the right price is probably like minus 106. I think it's fair. I think this could be a coin flip. We don't get much out of that chart. Looking at the chart for the over. Under, though, the over, remember, taking 75% of the money goes from 138 to 117 down to 128-ish. And then this morning, it just shot the fuck up to minus 107. 
This is a massive red flag to see all that money going on the under the over the chart should be dropping this way, but it's shooting up consistently gone up. If you draw a line from here to here, like that's a massive uptrend. Uh, major red flag. I'd be very worried if I'm on the over. Uh, probably looking to lean the under due to this chart. I mean, this chart shot up this morning. That's a massive red flag with how much money they're taking. They're begging you to take the over, even though they're already taking all the money on it. Massive red flag and trap spot for the over. Next game, Spurs versus the Lakers. If we take a look at the chart, Lakers taking 80 fucking 2% of the money. They're taking all of the money. And then the over is getting 68%. Take a look at the charts here for this one. Lakers plus 127 dropped down. And then this morning took massive, massive money and went all the way from plus 117 since this morning. It's gone all the way down to minus 117, 34 cent drop. Massive and a great sign if you're on the Lakers. They're taking all the money and the charts reflecting that. It's not staying stale or moving up, which would be scary. This is a beautiful sign if you're back in the Lakers. As far as the over under, the over getting all the money as well. 117 and then this morning, it's dropped all the way down to minus 108 by midday. Again, massive, massive drop, about 27 cents. So you have massive drops on the Lakers and the over. Good sign if you're on the over. Good sign if you're on the Lakers. Now, Let's actually take a look at how these teams compare and Suns 14 and 10 thunder 21 and three still have yet to hardly lose Suns offense is not bad I think they have a good three-point matchup here tonight I think they can light the three line up versus the thunder uh, but the thunder defense is tough and they are the best team in the league however the Suns defense is no slouch the Suns are seventh in D um, really good at stopping a three ball they play they play tough defense I think 14 and a half is just too many points um the way these teams compare, I think they're relatively close. I know the Suns aren't as good. I know skill-wise. I know the Thunder will probably win. They should, 90% chance they win. But by 14 and a half with a Suns team, when they have a lacking three-point defense, it's kind of crazy to me. I'm going to take the Suns plus the 14 and a half in this one. Um, that's kind of the only the only thing I can get to. I'm going to take the Suns plus 14 and a half, and I'm going to take the under 226 and a half. I don't think this game gets very high scoring. Next game, we got the Spurs versus the Lakers. And again, I mean, Spurs offense is, is their field goal offense is pretty good compared to the Lakers field goal defense. I'm actually surprised to see this go seven and a half to six and a half while they're taking most of the money, but the price keeps getting worse. Not sure why we're getting a six and a half now. Um, I will say, obviously, I think the Lakers score. The Lakers are at home. They've been a monster there. But this this seven and a half, six and a half, seven and a half is kind of a lot. I mean, the Spurs technically are better on offense and defense than the Lakers. Um, but but I'm just going to go with Vegas and the money. Anytime there's a small slate and there's not a lot of action, too much bullshit goes on. I just like to follow the money and follow the charts. I don't even like to go against anything that Vegas is doing or the books are doing or the sharps are doing when there's only a couple games. It's just so easy to rig and set up spots. So for me, guys, looking at this, I'm not going to fade this chart in this money. This morning, the big dogs came and nuked it and it dropped and reflected that. Just give me the Lakers minus the six and a half. Give me the over 240 and a half. Total plays for today, guys. Suns plus 14 and a half. Lakers minus six and a half. Suns game under 226 and a half. Lakers game over 240 and a half. That's all for me today, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's get an absolute bag and let's crack these folks.